Well, hello and welcome to It's All Good. It's your girl Latavia back for a special bonus episode here at the end of the year. And for those of you watching, you can see that to my left, your right, I don't know the directions right now. I'm joined by Miss Shay. Hi. And for those listening, you can't see her, but you can hear her. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you for letting me come back, boss lady. <laughs> yes! <laughs> boss lady said, hey, do you want to come on? And I said, yeah. Yeah. Of course. I've only been asking her like half the year, but you know, life happens and there's life been is, life been happening for real, for real this year. I'm sure everyone is aware. 2020 has been push pause can we talk about how pretty you look right now i know the people listening cannot see how pretty you are but <clears throat> come on sis tell us about your fit because this shirt is real nice Thanks. well before i say something about the shirt like i i might have a slight glow because i'm fresh from a facial from <laughs> the lovely miss shay you remember if y'all have been listening you yeah. recall beginning of the year we talked about some goals and things Yo, that we were yes. gonna do we did actually and one of them <laughs> not only came it was already happening but it's like for real for real in fruit what and came the, to yeah, fruition yeah. it's yeah. happening so yes i got Kissed by Shay today, shortly before recording this. So thank you, and you look beautiful as always. Oh, gracias, gracias, mija. Then I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it to Costa Rica this year because they weren't welcome. We were not welcome at first. But anywho, back to this shirt. Um, I love this shirt. I am not. A, I am enough. <laughs> it's um actually from that chick Angel. She did like a limited release earlier this year. If you're not following her, definitely do so. She's Beautiful Larry, all kinds of great content. But yes, the shirt is I Am Enough. Um, That's going to be my next top two. I like that. I actually already have it picked out, my pen writing and everything. I, where want, I want it. I've, I've, <clears throat> I want it right down here. Oh, yes, a nice Just little a straight line. line. Yes, yeah, that, nice, that's, nice. That's but yes, so FYI. shout out to that chick, Angel. Um, but before we go any further, got to, you know, just take some time to share some gratitude moment. Right so Shay, you. what is something or something? You know, it's it's been a long year, but like, what are? It's <laughs> also as stressful as the year has been. It is there have also been some some great things that have happened. So what's something or some things you're grateful for, or someone or person? I am, I am grateful for. Uh, I feel like this is a cookie cutter answer, but I'm gonna have it anyway. <laughs> I am grateful just with being able to still have a place to live, have friends and family, the people that I care about around. A lot of people have suffered a lot of loss. Definitely. Um, financial, like security, you know, just all kinds of things. And I am fortunate that I haven't had to experience any, way, any loss for that. I mean, I've gained some people. And that's cool. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's wonderful. No. I, what about you, Miss Latanya? I, I like, would say, <laughs> I would say the same. Um, I said it most of the year. I'm grateful for continued employment. Um, having you know just the things that we often or that I know I do have often take for granted. Mm -hmm. Just going to work, having somewhere to live, doing just kind of the regular everyday things have. I've been able to maintain that and I know that that's not the case for a lot of people this year even know some people who have been impacted by that in terms of job loss um financial loss or you know you worse that you were you thought you were ready you prepared right. but you've had to go through all of your savings just trying to keep afloat yeah families have been affected even you know losing life I did I have had a family member who, who died to from COVID or related to COVID so there's just been so many things but I'm grateful for that and also a lot of time for reflecting being in the house yes. and so one of the like I would say my biggest lessons or takeaways of this year has been enjoying the process enjoying I'm I'm, I'm getting better at it you know I still have my days <laughs> where I'm, are we there yet but just actually enjoying the process the journey of getting there and not being as focused on the destination right um and there's been a lot of learning and unlearning for me this year so yeah what about you what nothing can i not smile in this <laughs> moment her her thinking face 
is confusing me today. I have been thinking a lot today. And every time I do my thinking face, you're like, what is it? Is that my thinking Because it looks face? like you're ready to say something. <laughs> That's what your thinking face is. I'm thinking that I want you to stop so that I can say what I'm thinking. No, no, no. That's enough. what it is. But. Seriously? Huh? Yes. Nah. But also, <laughs> I'm also grateful for our friendship because I feel yes, like it was. Together. Yes, you know. I feel like we had some. Our friendship tests. this year was up and down. But we prevailed through it all. Actually, you know what? You know why I think it prevailed? Because we have learned to see each other for who we are and the space that we're in. And we're not trying to change each other because we want something different. I don't know if that came out right. No, it did. I was like, okay, <laughs> was like, okay preach, ma'am. All right. Also, we mm -hmm. picked up new habits together this year. We did. So, on our one of our goals that we had this year was to lose weight. Yes. And... I think that we have done fairly successful. We didn't realize that we were going to pick up this new hobby. And this new <laughs> hobby came out of nowhere. But we started biking. Yes. And I do mean <laughs> biking. biking. <laughs> and if you've been following either of us this year, then you, you've seen. Um... We, 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 we started biking. And biking has been fun. Like, I don't, I I'm didn't realize. I'm missing it right now. I know. I was looking outside today and I was like. I just got to get over my thought process of how cold it is. Right. Because in my mind, I'm like, it's cold outside. So I shouldn't be out there. I shouldn't want to go, but I do want to go. We, I think this year, we did 30 miles was our biggest. 32, 33? Yeah, I think 32, 33 was, was like our jointly biggest. Yes, because you did some 40s. I did. Oh, uh, yeah, it was 44, 45 yeah. miles. Probably. She, she yeah, decided to just ride to Pennsylvania from central maryland yeah i didn't do that <laughs> i did not do that i was not ready yet because one of the in that and this growing and accepting each other for who we are when we started this she had her fitness journey had started and had gotten a lot more intense than mine had <laughs> um and so when we started biking i was thinking oh this is just something to do leisurely no it's something and then to it do was competitively yes. fun i mean even we, we we went out to do um midnight biking that was definitely by that far the fun. most fun i mean who goes out biking at, at midnight? midnight like we left the <laughs> house at 11 30 ish just to get down there to in dc to get ready lights and all um and then bike for two hours in the in the dead of the night literally who does that but it was fun and it was like we were surprised it was a large group of people black people I mean, we did them two nights in a row. We did. We did. So that was what? Ride DC. Ride DC and, then, and bike more um, Baltimore. Yeah, bike more Baltimore. So like, so literally two nights in a row, biking in Baltimore. I think that one was cooler in the sense of like, they had it set up where they legit shut down the roads. Like it was like Well, like the people marathon. with us shut down the roads. We didn't get like police or anything. I think this was just oh, a little. It seemed like that. No, no. There were people biking with us and the, the they organizers was blocking the traffic for us whatever but either was. way it goes i mean it was fun and I, I think that that was a really new new thing that we picked up that was not a part of our goals but helped us with our overall goals definitely so like you would say that we lost a lot of weight this year right like yes yeah. lost, uh, lost and gained but lost primarily <laughs> lost because you know some of it came back but anywho the overall thing is we're we're healthier yes that is yeah that, i think that was the problem we're healthier we picked up something new um my waist beads went down like three four sizes and yes. then um i got somebody else who makes waist beads now too yeah can, so can I, should can I shout your business sure ah, okay 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 um <laughs> that's my <laughs> sorry um you are now looking at the new waist and themes um owner and she makes beaded accessories like your waist beads your bracelets um anything with beads not with well, not anything but yeah primarily waist beads and bracelets that's that's what she's we're focusing on right it. now and i mean i would lift up my shirt to show you but that's not gonna happen yeah, we're not doing that um but you can but, go on etsy hey and, i was oh, yeah. sorry oh no 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 this is your business shout out to 
Damn, I girl. Was say, you can Where go. can they find you, girl? Tell them. It's on. We're, I'm on Etsy. <laughs> Wasting Tings is the, the name of the shop on Etsy. I'll probably start in the next like couple weeks. I'll put some stuff on my Instagram. I'm not interested right now in creating another Instagram account. No, we got too many. I already have three. And I got three. I'm struggling. I got three. To, I'm with you know, that. to keep up with that. But on Etsy, wasting things. Um, I will wasting add. Things, I, I will see. add a link on my link tree for it. So if you are following me, following me or the podcast on Instagram, you can just go there and it'll take you directly to it. But waist beads as well as bracelets. If you can see, I have one of them on now. Um, but yeah, it was one of the things that I picked up. Um, I had been playing around. I made waist beads before, yeah. but this year, as... you made earrings and stuff this year too. So I mean, oh yeah, I have done. You're playing a lot with the little jewelry fin finesse. Yes. Yeah, so it's something I've been playing around with here and there. But this year, as one of my, who I gotta figure out a way to deal with this and just enjoying them, I started. Oh, you enjoy them. She makes them in like a night. Like yeah, I, I told her I wanted a pair. Of, I wanted some waist beads. And then by that night, probably like three hours later, she was like, here it is. You started now? Like, yeah. right? <laughs> no, I You didn't have nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so. She said, like, do you want me to mail them to you? Why would you need to mail them? Well, you, you I wanted her me. to have the full experience. But yeah, so uh, that is something that I picked up, or I guess a hobby that I picked back up and took to the, first, to the next level. So I'm proud of you. I enjoy them. Thank you. I enjoy I'm them. Proud. Um, and I know how much I have appreciated wearing waist beads and even in, yes. just in terms of just kind of like the body image and self-confidence, things of that nature, but also in terms of the weight health and fitness yeah. journey of losing weight, mine have, a lot of mine have dropped. They're like now closer to my, my, waist. my hips yeah. instead of up under, waist, yeah. under my, on my rib cage. So if you have not worn waist beads, I would definitely encourage you to try them. Like you can wear them. Most of mine are the traditional ones where you tie them on and they stay on until they fall off or you cut them off. Or I also make some where they have a clasp because some people. Are my favorites. Yes. Shay likes I, I the like one. the clasp because depending on what I'm wearing or like doing. what under <laughs> or doing, I I need to be able to take them off. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's very rare, but. But no, there yeah. are times so I'd be like, yeah, this is cut into my side and I gotta take one of the two off. Especially if you wanna just eat and not be thinking about it on a cheat day, because they will let you know. They will let you know. I, I looked at them and I was like, yo, what, <laughs> what, what is happening? I missed two weeks in the gym and I was like, all yeah. right, we got They will rise back, back up with a quickness. But yeah, that's so yeah, that was another thing, as I mentioned. Kiss by Shea Salon is officially open for business here in Maryland. You know, Glendale, check her out yeah. on Style C. You can book your appointments for facials. Facials, waxing. Um, you can get your eyelashes. Yeah. All that good stuff. Make, you know, makeup. makeup. Yeah. I mean, kissbyshay.com. You can always catch me on there. You can, there's a link to the Style C. But those are things that we talked about this year about wanting to do yes. at the beginning of the year. Now, who knew that 2020 was going to throw us into a whirlwind of like yeah. having to make some decisions like we i left work in the middle of march and you know i mean I, we, I left work in the middle of march and didn't go back for a whole rest of the year our weight loss thing picked up our ambition mm -hmm. for business. our, our businesses picked up because not only that i learned how to sew this summer right because another business <laughs> that she started is get creative get by creative shay. by shay like she's shirts yep i mean shirts masks i learned how to i taught myself how to sew masks not because i mean at the time everything was happening we it was really kind of like scarce to find masks that you really like and i'm so particular so yeah Shut it, fool. But hey, I mm -hmm. hey, I got I have a mask. She did some my, my parents ordered some shirts. Yeah. She's had shirt orders throughout the year, so that's yeah. something that you're going to Not just shirts like cups shirts, and hoodie. stuff. Yeah. I was going to say I got a nice cup, a little personalized bag and stuff. Cup yeah. and, and I mean, bag. I just think that you when we're in creative spaces, this year let us be creative in so many different ways. We lost the connection to be with a lot of people and like some things that we externally enjoyed. 
but we were able to find internal enjoyment like with people close to us and you know stepping outside of social media or you know finding new talents there's lots of people picked up you know cricketing or beating or you know opening new businesses or doing new things and I think that's amazing though that's a win for 2020 2020 was a <clears throat> shitty year yeah with all caps Maybe but there some. was still some silver there was yeah it was a good amount of silver lining with it and i know that's not my my hope and prayer is that for everyone there was some level of silver lining that you can find um for this year even though for those ones like i said who have had who've lost loved ones who've lost employment homes there's been so many negatives and like then they're still happening as we speak even yeah. as we're you know, waiting to see what's gonna happen with the political scene, even the election cycle. And yeah. there's so many, so it many. Was world, right? Yeah, it was so many things that if we that are easy to identify that did not go well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but oh wait, we even started. I started hiking this summer. I, I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm like, she started hiking. She went on a couple I of hikes went once with me. or twice in the rain. In the rain, it was nice. <sighs> It I'm was sorry, not I, was, that I bad, was just thinking, but, like, yes. I'm just thinking of all the things that we did collectively. We ate good. We did. We ate, we ate, we ate great. I love to eat. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I digress. I, no, but. <laughs> I digress. Like, I'm sorry. As we think about some food. Mm. But no, it's, like I said, it's definitely been some good things. Um. Oh my God, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, continue. I'm just thinking of other things like when we went biking on 4th of July and we didn't know it was 4th of oh July. Oh my God, that was when I thought <laughs> me and biking was going to be over forever. When I tell you I have never called on the Holy Spirit so much just to get me up a hill on a bike <laughs> when I thought I was literally about to okay, pass so out. I think I think we should also clarify that this next year for 2021, I think that your goal, <laughs> <laughs> this is speaking from a personal current experience, I personally think that your goal for 2021 is to eat before you work out, <laughs> eat before you come see me. No, wait, not all the I've time. I've already started doing that. Not all the time. Because Latavia will, will be like, all right, I'm ready to go. And she will show up hangry. I didn't do that today. Praise God. I have learned. I'm like, no, I got my pre-workout in my, and she says that I wouldn't eat, but I would do like a protein shake or something. Yo, we would be riding like 20 something miles. I didn't know. Like I was at not max, prepared. at max, we'd be riding, a, we, we would have rode like at least 24, 25. That's before we got to 33. 34. But you know that even saying that, that that's like. I'd be like, why didn't you eat like a sustainable meal? Like something that is hearty. Something that you can actually work for i don't typically eat in the mornings and we'd be starting in the morning so yes it took a minute for me to switch and click but i'd be prepared now but the fact that we now say like if we ride 14 <laughs> miles oh it was only 14 miles yeah that only word only is, was i think our new word for 20 2020 only we did only right like you only ate that you only went to the store you only didn't put on a mat <laughs> No, you, you need, only you need to put on a mask still, and even yeah. the fact that we, in March, did not think that in December, going literally about to go into next year, we would that this here. would be still we yeah. still be here. But there's a vaccine now. You gonna take it when my time comes? <laughs> what <laughs> when my when my when when it's my turn? to be in line because as an educator i think i'm somewhere in one of these phases okay um, yeah you are a higher priority unfortunately they want us to sit back in the building <laughs> and i am telling you <laughs> so hard like, i'm like don't rush it uh, that's what i'm saying so i guess now my new perspective is like when i'm watching tv or i'm watching a movie or i'm observing i'm like we really didn't uh, i was like to a stranger i'm this close to a stranger for what reason for what reason you put you put 40 people into a classroom plus a teacher. It's like 45 people right there. I know I didn't do the math right. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it on purpose. But why? You, we let people sneeze under hands or sneeze in the air. First of all, I got problems with that. You know what? <laughs> Shay still um, is working on her observing of her observance of personal space. 
I mean, like, but no, I, I, I saw someone the other day literally sneeze. They had their mask on and they took they it off. They took to it down <laughs> to sneeze. Into the air? Into the okay, air. Okay, I thought you were going to at least like into their arm. Shoot. I mean, no, it wasn't there. I'm thinking in my mind. Either way, it's it's disturbing. But I hope that even as we kind of move out of the, the shutdown, quarantine, mass phase, that this observance of six feet of space, I'm here for it. I appreciate it. Let's keep the six feet of space between people especially yeah we're not six feet right now um, but she's been in my bubble also we so. i've been tested so multiple I. times and thankfully they've all been negative but people i've noticed when i do go to the grocery store um or just out like the the six feet they're not it, they're getting closer and closer they're not paying attention to these little markers on no, the ground i give them the dirty looks i'd be like i'll look down at the marker yes and then like look at them, them. And then, and then I say, seriously, did they not see the sign? Because I saw the sign. See, I'm that person. I just look a few no. times until they get the hint. I, but, um, or the person I went to the restaurant the other day to pick up food to go, and this old lady. Okay, it doesn't help. That I was in Tennessee. Okay, but this old lady was behind the counter, you know, checking people out of this restaurant. And granted, she had a mask on. Now, she just was hacking behind the mask. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, is anyone else not turned off by this? <laughs> like, they didn't want to tell her to step away from the cash register. They just didn't want her to say, go take a break. And then after she coughed so hard in that mask, she took her mask down. She sunk some of her water and put it back. And I was like, I'm disgusted. Mm. Yeah, there there have been a lot of I was disgusted. There have been a lot of those things. But twenty twenty has taught me to observe and to tell people, you give me my six feet. And bag, you, bag, give me six Unless feet. I ask you to come close to me. Well, that's a whole different story. Speaking of which, another thing that has been unique to this year, which we touched on, I would say there's been a few episodes throughout this year that kind of touched on relationships dating um whether it be family <laughs> friendships romantic mm. so 2020 has definitely been an interesting year for dating yeah. and friendship yeah uh, relationships in general but specifically dating of just what that looks like how it works mm -hmm. um i definitely I think we talked about this, but I know I dabbled in online dating again this yes, year. Yes, we both and did, and that was tragic. It was a lot of people who <laughs> were either back on or trying online dating for the first time this year because, hey, we, we couldn't go anywhere. Nope. Um, meeting up for a walk was my go-to date for for a while like how did that go for you um i mean in terms of meeting someone outside went well because clear being air, outside air. was literally i would say i kind of not fell in love but like yeah i guess i fell in love with being outside again okay, not with the per no no yeah, i was not. like no. i miss this total no. conversation is going left is there something you need to tell me no ma'am am i being pumped no no <laughs> i would say i we was reunited with like my enjoyment of outside of walking biking clearly right. just like actually because because we could not go anywhere i work from home i'm inside most of the day yeah. all day every day mm -hmm. and so um thankfully i have not had to use zoom and microsoft teams or google hangouts all those different ones for work much i am on the phone but it's just it's just me so when there was, you know, when I did connect with somebody online, we communicate a few times and decide when we did decide to meet up, it was socially distanced outside at a park or a trail. I also realized or learned that Maryland has a lot of parks and it trails. Does. I think we can pick them up now driving. Like when I'm yes, driving, when I'm I can, driving, I can I see pick them. up like hiking trails and then I put, I can always look at them. Oh, I didn't know there was a park there. Right. What? So I'm much <laughs> more aware of those things. Um, but yeah, so dating was, I, 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 I so, um, I had some interesting stories to say the, the least. the question is, is, um, how did dating in 2020 turn out for you? I'm still single. <laughs> If that's the question. I was just asking if like now we know I have, I'm still single. There's I will say there's prospects 
on the horizon. <laughs> and on the horizon. On the horizon. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been interesting to say the least. Mm. Of just even thinking this morning, thinking back to like this time last year and where I am now. And it's just like, who? What was, was your best? What was your? I got two questions. So I'm going to give you like, I want a quick answer. Don't be, don't be dibble dabbling the whole time. Okay. First question. What was your best date of 2020? Where did you, what did you do or where did you go? Best date. You don't got to name the person or anything else. No, I'm trying my best. I guess if I had to say a best date of 2020. It was, I, it was, I met up with someone. We went for a walk. Um, what made it the best? The company, like, just kind of the surroundings, like, oh, yeah, we went for a walk on, like, a trail. No, I'm sorry. We, like, went, it was, like, this outdoor flea market. We walked Ooh, through that, like, our, our cool. farmer's market. Like, we walked around there, Ooh, and we she walked. Had a Hallmark date. <laughs> <laughs> it, did, it did kind of nudge me. It was, she like, a Hallmark, Hallmark movie. Date. But, yeah, so, no, met up at, like, the flea market, walked around there um and got some food from that and then like walked and talked on this trail then we ended up there with like this little park mm -hmm. and i got on swings it was before we went swinging I was like, wait, it was, am i your best date that well i mean i was like am i your best date i was here i was here for that moment when you said outside of that <laughs> okay my best date with a man <laughs> was that where we just walked and then like talking walking and then like sitting on the swing swinging together it was just okay it was real simple but it was just really nice i'm here for now you. best date like if we're just talking about outing overall would definitely be <laughs> us going we um biked to dc we started at the Greenbelt yeah, metro station, station yeah and <laughs> took a bunch um, of different trails <laughs> Until we made it to DC, but on the way there, we stopped at some swing sets, and Latavia <laughs> wanted to attempt to jump out of the swing. I did jump. She out. did several times actually, but the first <laughs> one was the absolute best, <laughs> and I just caught a glimpse of it on a recording. Yes. I was like, I didn't what? see the landing. I was like, what I, <laughs> happened here? And my then, brain and, and my feet were not communicating on that one. And but yeah, no. We yeah. went to we went to go eat at um, Milk and Honey. Yes. Yeah, so we. Yeah, bike to DC. Then once we got, I mean, I was just like, "Whoa, was I your best date of 2020?" Because you know, I know that I, I had great. Think dates. that's what she was. <laughs> now that I think <laughs> I about like, it, that was the motive behind the question. No, it wasn't. Second question: What was your worst date? And the other one was a little long. Then I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My worst. What was your worst date of 2020? Because you were out and about, sis. First of all, and let's not act like I've just been out <laughs> in the streets. In these COVID streets. No, um, you were out in the trails. What was your worst date? And why was it the worst? It also involved a walk. Because that's what I was doing. Um, the company. The conversation was just not. That was not me. No, that wasn't you. Because it, it was like getting there. And the person wasn't as aesthetically pleasing as I thought they would have been <laughs> or no actually it was you know there's sometimes where people are they look better in person than in pictures that is the case like you I, don't photograph I, well I thought that was going to be totally the opposite way that they photograph better yeah some people do but some people so that's where they I don't photograph well and so it was like okay there was one or two that was nice and then just getting there was like yeah no and then it was just yeah hmm it well, didn't end well. well, I mean, <clears throat> going into 2021, you have prospects, and that's all we could ever ask for. Right. So, what about you? Me? Because you two were out and about a bit here and there. Was I? Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, Best and worst. Okay. Or worst. <laughs> oh. or worst. Best or worst. I won't make you answer both, but best or worst. You sure? Go ahead and answer both then. <laughs> Oh, okay. Worst date of 2020. Um, I paid for the food. Oh. And I had to beg for the date. I had, I had to, not beg, but I had to like request. request continuously for like, hey, when are you free? And then I finally got on the calendar and then like on our way to the place to grab the food to come back, they forgot their card. Forgot, <clears throat> and then um, it was like all just cash app you, and 
<laughs> I got there, I paid, and I was like, fuck, who might spend X amount of dollars over 50? <clears throat> or 50, or just wallet. some like, like not even expensive, uh, expensive dinner food. Like it was to carry out. <laughs> it was carry out. And then um, they, they never cashed at me. And then um, I was just like, wow. That was the worst. Yeah, yeah. My best date of 2020. Um, well, uh, we actually went to this outdoor. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm just cheesing about it, thinking about it. Um, we went to this outdoor restaurant, like um, off a lake, mm -hmm. and we sat outside and just chatted and talked, and then came back and watched Family Feud. Oh, it was it was pretty. I mean, it's low key, but it but was it the was, company, it was right? The co yeah. Well, that is one thing too about this year is that because there were we were limited in what we could do or where we could go, the creativity, like people's creativity overall, mm -hmm. and I would say. And this is kind of oh, I didn't pay for that, by the way. I just want, I just want everybody to know <laughs> no, that day I didn't have to pay. I didn't even open my own door. I didn't have to open the car door. I immaculate. It was wonderful. <laughs> immaculate. That just reminded me. It wasn't a date per se, but I went to when I went to the sunflower patch or field. I'm sorry, I did not do that with Shay, but that was also a nice <laughs> random outing. Face. Um, but no, what I was going to say is because we were limited in what we could do, so many places closed, it was nice to see how creative people became and oh, yeah. not necessarily with my personal experience, but just watching or talking to other people in terms of the virtual dates of having food delivered and okay, we're going to eat together or we're going to watch a movie. Best friend. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if rave was around before, but people being able to watch movies together oh, okay, like yeah. downloading the app and then you could actually watch something together. Um, the versus battles. Like I know some oh, people yes. like that okay, was, what was, a, your, what that was, was your favorite. Date. Oh, my that's favorite hard. versus. Yeah. I, I, my top ones are really, I just liked it because of who they were. Well, yeah, but I think it's a, it's a in terms of like me enjoying just the overall experience. The T Pain and Lil John one was to be the best to me in terms of just the like it actually felt like a party. Um, but Monica and Brandy was was definitely because like in terms of who yeah. the people were and like, I'm like I was, that's like number one, number two on my list. Yeah, yeah, the one that I was really really looking forward to was Brandy Monica. Yeah, I look forward to that one a lot. But I also really liked um, Jill Scott and Erica okay. Baidu. Like, that one was good. Those too. two, but like, and like a lot of people like their verses. I'm like, I like both of them so much. So those were a tie for me. Right, because to me, those weren't, and even, and that's why I say the Lil Jon, um, they were a tie for one. Me. Like, it didn't feel like a battle. Yeah, to it's me, just that like was a the vibe. First, it, was, it was just a good time. And I remember my I roommate and I, it. like, were legit acting like we had gone out. <laughs> like, it was an event that we went to. Um, I didn't watch all of the verses, I either, but no I also enjoyed the, was it Kirk Franklin and Fred <gasps> Hammond? Oh my God, Just yes! The, the Kirk, oh my God, like, yes. I love both of them, but also the timing of when that one was. Yes, I watched that one on my bike. I was riding my bike watching it. Don't judge me. It, my bike has a little phone holder and I just put it in there and I had my headphones like, on. Like in real time or you watched it back? No, uh, in real time. Of what? Okay, we'll talk about that another time. But anyway, but yeah, that was also one of my favorites. Like I said, because I and they was, had Taylor Man on there, and I was yeah, like that. If that one. I think that was when it first started becoming where the people were like in the same place. Yeah, um, for sure, entertainment value. The the baby face Teddy Riley one. Oh, that was a, hey. For, did I watch it with you guys? Yeah, so that okay. was the one. Like, but the fact that it had to get rescheduled and all of the technical difficulties <laughs> and the sh I didn't realize Babyface was like that expertly oh, oh. it was an expert shade thrower like that and then tony braxton in the comments it was just it was hilarious but it was also enjoyable um but yeah that was that was fun the, the create like i said the creativity that came out of this year from people who are creatives to people who were not traditionally creatives because like i said i don't i would not have called myself or described myself as someone who was creative but this year i realized okay i'm a little more creative than you I saw, yeah, so, um, even, and just thinking of, because I realized I started watching stuff on YouTube a lot more this year, um, 
the shows like to hear more created um wording is hard mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. like words but it's literally just a game show where he has people come on and they try to pronounce difficult words and then guess the meaning of it and so he has different comedians with different people but wording is hard he did zooming with the homies that became like my nightly thing on youtube like they were literally on zoom but they just made it live so you could watch on youtube no not sorry me. tiktok is my thing tiktok actually yeah. i don't think i watched it machine like i was still in grad school i'm well, i'm still in grad school but like mm. at the end of the year i was still trying to think, finish that up and then like coming back in the fall grad school and then Thank real you. life job and then all these side hustles that we do right. um <laughs> i was like tv where yeah i didn't watch nearly as much as i thought i was going to watch right i was like yo I didn't. and then being outside all the time i'm like i don't i don't have yeah. time i'm so sorry but tiktok tickets tiki tiktok tiki 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 well tiki you were tiktok i was definitely like not yeah, really discovering but it's kind of like people i was already following like they created things and so that's like kept on stage i already did but the all the the keep your distance comedy shows i was definitely like that became my every other week outing in my bedroom <laughs> um but i felt like she lived in her bedroom she didn't want to come out no seriously i did i mean you my didn't. i work in there i, oh, I work okay. out i did a lot i if i left i was going outside usually but anyhow it was a lot of great content, but one thing too, because I actually saw, um, I saw several memes towards the beginning of the quarantine of, if you don't create something or do this now, then it wasn't that you didn't have time, you didn't have the effort, or you didn't have the, you know, that all that stuff of like, if you don't take advantage of this, and I didn't like it when I read it then, and then I saw like a, another version of essentially people who say that are insensitive, elitist, whatever, like if they're saying that at this point. But I say all that to say that because I realized maybe about August, October, August, September was mm -hmm. like, for us to be shut down, I've been real busy. Like I've been going, yeah. going, I've been, it was like, I'm busier now than I was before. And so one of the things and part of why y'all have not gotten any episodes is I have been trying, I have been unlearning the sense of needing to be busy. Yeah. Like, I always be doing something. Um, this is for you thank you yeah you're welcome and reconnecting in terms of therapy because that was i think that was something that in these stimulus packages that needs to be included free therapy for for everyone to yeah just, absolutely to process this year but no it was just like you don't have to always be doing something no no you do not and if you don't it's okay yeah and so i'm not completely there yet because i still have my moments but literally these last few this i would say this last quarter of the year my focus has been why like kind of why am i doing this do i am i doing this because i genuinely enjoy it do i actually you know if it's work okay yes i gotta go to I work gotta do it, yeah. but you know that's a very question if i don't do anything when i get off work it's okay yeah like just literally fine. saying and for some of you listening that may not be a big deal to you that might be like uh duh but for me it was literally like kind of light bulb no you don't have to you know you don't have to be doing multiple things um because one of the other things that i did this year was i got licensed in maryland and so i kind of reestablished or opened my law firm here in maryland um and i can officially hire her as my lawyer Yes, I am officially licensed in Maryland um, to do things, but it was I so I was putting a lot of time and energy into just getting that set up and and having all the things in place for that, doing the podcast and then trying to just also, you know, be daughter, sister, friend, trying to date. And it was just like, why am I so tired? But I'm, I felt like I wasn't there was. Yeah. So it's just like, OK, let me just sit and do and honestly even though the way season thing has become a business it's something i enjoy and that's all that matters yeah so that's all that, matters. that has been a i would say another lesson for me this year you what have lessons you? on lessons oh lesson wise yeah anything i guess just there's been some like i said for me it's been a lot this year um i don't know if i like I think the biggest lesson is that, um, nah, sorry, I got nothing right this minute. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, fine. But I'm just thinking of like lesson wise. I mean, I I learned, I learned that you just feed your passion. Yeah, I mean, you are, and, you've already and, talked about a lot of your lessons. You yeah. So. I mean, yeah. Though, I mean, life lesson wise, though, I mean, 
I just learned to just do what I can with what I can. Give what you can with what you can. Don't try to overdo it. Don't try to over... Don't try to do more than what you're able to do. And I think that's my biggest takeaway of 2020. And I think it took this time where there's like nothing really externally going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, like most people, I didn't leave my house. If I left my house, just go outside or basically that was it. Um, but I learned that some people just don't necessarily need your time. Cool. Some people, some things, some actions, mm. they don't require your time. They, they don't, they're not a valuable asset that you know yes that could be wrong that is i think that's my biggest my biggest lesson of 2020 Once because again. i didn't have there was not something always clouding my view it was just kind of like oh i really don't like that mm, i don't like that mm, i really like this and being more vocal about it <clears throat> yes that's that's i think that's that's big because because we couldn't go anywhere there weren't as many of the normal distractions yeah. you had to actually focus on the person or people right and then you just learn like some people are just assholes just because they're assholes and they should be let go facts i agree or people are great and then you like learned like love them for what they are yes this was focused towards you no, I'm just kidding. I, 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 I caught that. I caught kidding. that. Love beyond yourself. I'm just kidding. Yeah. JK, JK. But no, yeah, it's, it's, like I said, it's been a crazy year. It's been stressful, but there's also been a lot of good. That oh, has I didn't get my it. dog this year. Brownie was not, um, I'm sorry. I'll let everybody know. At the beginning of the year, I said that one of my goals was to get a dog for my daughter and I, <clears throat> mostly I, and <laughs> <laughs> I was going to name him Brownie and, um, Guys, 2020 was not in that favor. It's okay. I'm I'm telling you, 2021 is going to be Brownie's year. I, I it's going to be Brownie's year. Oh, if anybody wants to bless okay. me with a Frenchie, I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Just, just tiny little Frenchie. Yeah. If not a Frenchie, I'll take a Yorkie. <clears throat> Free. <laughs> Donate. Child in need. Donations accepted. <laughs> no. Child in need. Yeah. Like, there's some things that, like I said, I did not make it to Costa Rica. Um, oh, yeah. All our trips were canceled. Literally. <laughs> That's going to be fun. The traveling I did this year was to see family. Or, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Family. I think I've been home more this year than I have ever been in I... any years. And <clears throat> I'm not going to say... That it wasn't worth it. <laughs> but, oh my God. No, I was just. I wrecked up the most airlines. <laughs> like, I was like, I can't do this. I Well, I didn't fly. I literally flew in January and March of this year. And that's it. But I have gone to see family multiple times this year. I was just telling my, my family, like, I think I've seen y'all more this year than normal. But. It's a good thing. Um, I'm grateful for that. But like I said, just we don't want to keep. I think this we is could a, we could go on forever could. and ever about we things could. that like went wrong, went well. Um, but I think this whole episode was to recap what we started the year like, and yes. we started the year together, yes. and now we get to end the year together. So I guess yes. my last question before we, you know, what I'm saying. Um, what are you most looking forward to in 2021? Mm. Hey, by the way, push pause. I wanted to share this with you earlier, but I totally forgot, but it came back to me right in this minute, okay. like this moment. There's this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> There's this commercial for Match. And, um... <laughs> okay. Sorry, every time I think of it, I, I don't watch TV, so when I was home, I was like, what the heck is this? So, then... The, there's this guy who looks like the devil, right? Like Satan. And um, it's a match commercial. And like he's walking up to this girl and he was like, 2020. Zero, zero. She was like, call me 2020. And he was like, okay. And then 2020 and, De and, and Satan basically matched. <laughs> matched and and they, they were like doing the most ridiculous. 2020 things, like stealing toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> They were working out in the gym that said it was closed. Oh, gosh. And I was like, huh. 
I meant to share this with you, like, when we were talking about the matching thing, mm -hmm. like, dating. But oh, I lost wow. my that, thought. That's funny and also kind of scary because it's like... Oh, you have to no, know the, the same guy looks really, really weird. I'm sure. Go look at the commercial. <laughs> but no, yeah. They, so, sorry. Back to my question. Because so, that was a rainbow. 2020 thought. and Satan have been just playing around together this yeah, year. Yeah, they were so, they were match match. They had a good year. They had a great year. You know, yes. So 2021. What's, 2020. what's your one? I want one. Una. What's one thing that you're most looking forward to? Most. Buying a house. Boom. God said he's going to do it. He spoke to me. Amen. <laughs> um, um, yeah, no, yeah. If I, yeah. That's, ah, yeah, it's not my you know, I could go on, but yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Tu necesita una casa. Si. Si, si, si. Oh, hey, I learned Spanish this year. Yes, she better did. Better than what I, I do. <laughs> I, like, I knew, I knew it. I just know it better. Yeah, <laughs> I, I regressed. <laughs> Lord, you and your mic are having my issues. Is, Her mic is We're going like, to leave this stand in 2021. 2020? Um, 20, yes. 2020. We're going to leave it in 2020. We are not taking it into 2021. Um, but I also went skydiving this year. Sorry, <gasps> That's right. You did go skydiving. Yes, sorry. Skydiving. We're going to keep doing this a lot today, huh? Well, so, so because we could go like on and on and because there have been so many things. One thing I would say is in terms of just with the podcast, a lot of touched on a lot of, I think, great things for me. And I had an I enjoyed a lot of the ep just the episodes that were um, put out this year from the beginning of the year to now. Um, we'll be coming back in 2021 with more early in the year. It will not be January because, you know, I'm trying to recover and keep. I'm enjoying this not busy thing. <laughs> so <laughs> just working on that. But um, one of the other things that I started this year was the random shower thought. Right. And and prepping for this or just thinking about this, it was like one of the things that I talked about early this year was cleanliness and showering. Um, because I know a lot of us have been working from home this year. Or some and people haven't been working from home at all and still have the same problem. Go ahead, continue. That too. But <laughs> because we have not been leaving the house as much, I know that showering daily may or may not have been happening for some because hey you're not going anywhere to each his own i understand um but got a little news alert this morning and one of the things was about essentially the the, the headline said should you shower daily and if you the previous shower thought that i shared was like apparently some people don't wash their legs every day or they don't feel the need. Now, why they specifically pointed out the legs, I don't know, because your legs do get dirty. Uh, I mean, unless I guess you're not like walking around in dirt or something. No, just like if you think about it. I don't know. I wash my legs, so I don't know. So, because my thing is just even overnight, the air particles, even being in the house, you get dirty. But anywho, the article was basically talking about how they interviewed all these different doctors and other scientists and whatever that said. There is nothing that says you have, have to. to or need to shower daily that does, that's not doing anything for you health wise or even cleanliness wise, unless you're like, so unless you are actually, I guess, working out sweaty, grimy, getting like doing things to get dirty, you don't need to shower every day and that actually showering daily could put, it potentially Exposed, you know, it takes away all of your so, like, I guess you, are, you they, are an esthetician, you understand these words and terms. I'm just saying that ideally, what it is is that showering daily is a 21st century, um, or yes. 20th century like idea. You know, historically, people didn't shower daily, or they maybe took baths once a week, or twice, some, or, yeah. you know, whatever because they were doing it out. They didn't also didn't have indoor, they didn't indoor plumbing. plumbing or anything like that. So this whole idea of cleanliness and taking a shower is a new new thought or relatively new for, yeah a new thing and i mean really we're just showering to keep body odor down and i get it like when you're showering you're taking some good bacteria off yeah. with you you're you know this is things like you don't really have to clean your private parts for women because it's a self it's self-cleaning thing you know so i get it however <laughs> however i'm not saying that like there's people who have OCD and then got to shower like three, four times a day. 
to leech your own. Right. I'm least just saying, hey, you need a leech shower at least at the bare minimum once a day. I'm in agreement. And now the bare only minimum. time that, because I'm be honest, there's sometimes that like, if I know for certain that I'm not leaving the not house. leaving the house. And I didn't go anywhere. Like I might not do it. I might do it at night before I go to sleep, or the next morning I'll just get up and shower. I but think I'm just in that routine. So like, even if I don't leave the house, I will get up. I will take a shower, put on some like lounge clothes well, yeah. or whatever, and then do absolutely nothing, well, and then still wake up the next morning and do the and same do thing over, over again. Yeah, no, I'll be honest. Like when I'm home and I know for a fact that I'm not, but even then I've noticed like. If I don't throughout the day, at some point before I go to sleep, because I think there's just like kind of that internal reminder of hold up, you have not today, I will take a shower before the day is over. But if you know you're gonna be around people, not even if you know you're like, gonna be around people. Like are leaving the house? No, no, no. At the, I'm saying for no. those who do not, <laughs> you're saying yes, for you it's once a day at a minimum. I mean at a minimum, I sometimes take two showers a day depending on you. Like shower is like somehow how I can like release. Well, that, that is true because I'm a Pisces. I love the I'm I'm not and I don't know what my I'm a sign water is. Sign. I guess I'm, I'm a water sign who loves what? I think I'm a fire fire sign is what mm. I was told. Aries. I don't know. But I enjoy just being in the water. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I just wanted okay. to do that. Yeah. But no, so I just think at the end of the day it's to each his own. Because one of the things that they pointed out in the article was that I guess as you get older, it's actually they take detrimental. Anyway. It's detrimental to shower daily as you get older because it dries your skin. It, it's drying your skin out. They need so, some white lotion on. I'm just telling you. I'm what just the telling them. They need said. some moisturizing like shower gel, um, <laughs> moisturizing <laughs> soap bottle that is not stripping. And we then put some lotion on your body when you get out. I noticed but it. But they don't take that anyway. They take. Okay, never mind. That's TMI. I was gonna say I know some old people who like take sponge baths. Like they they wash off. Yeah, they wash off. Like they'll stand in front of the thing and they'll just you know they'll just wash the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the cross. Yeah, I get it now. But but either way, like I said, I I still think at minimum one a day, not longer than twenty four hours. You should go without a shower if you're not gonna do it Can every single your day. Well, I, no, well, so, uh, no, no, when you're showering no. or bathing, whatever you call it, I, that includes feet. the entire body. No, I see some people just wash their feet. J I listen, I, I hope you wash your feet. Just, just, just soak brush, your, brush your teeth. Soak your feet. I won't, no, no, I need people to wash their feet. But I also need them to brush their teeth, even if you aren't going anywhere. Just I mean, yes, teeth and feet. And privates. Listen, I think you're pushing it now for these people. Well, the cross hit the the head, underarms, and privates. Well, I thought that that's that leaves the feet out. Oh, I need right. their feet. So the cross and the. If feet. you're walking around with no socks on, why are you walking around with no socks there's on? There's some people who have this preference. Okay. Okay. But back to my say, if you're walking around with no socks on, and you're not showering every day, at least you can do is one, wash your stinky ass feet, two. Put on some funky ass socks. Not or funky. Three. Put on some clean socks. Put on some clean ass socks. <laughs> three. Get some new fucking shoes. And I that's that. She's she's that felt personal. You know that was there was something behind that. But anywho, um, thank you all for listening, Shay. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm here. And hopefully, we'll see more of Shay next year. It depends on what the boss says. Oh, and I okay. That's me. All right. Well, then we will be seeing more of Shay next year. Um, like I said, 2020 has definitely been one for the books, but it has not been all bad. And even though there have been many days that it has not felt like it, many days that it has not felt like it, and I don't understand everything, it is all still working out for our good in the end. So here's the 2021. 2021.